Uh, hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. I noticed a lot of people are bearish on crypto right now, saying we're gonna get a huge correction, but I wanna know from you guys, are you bullish on crypto, yes or no? Put it down below in the comment section right now. And let's get on with this video. So starting it off, Mac Attack XRP put up, if news comes out that Ripple will be able to settle the SEC lawsuit, you are too late. And he has a very good point here. Below he says, we've created a product that is first of its kind. This is by the way within quotes. Integrating new infrastructure is costly. ODL with XRP solves real world cost, speed, and settlement issues and has proven billions of dollars worth of it by Barrett Gollinghouse. Now, a very good point to make here, and you know, there's a very good argument to this one is, we're hearing quite a lot of back and forth from the lawsuit right now, but the moment a result is hit, or the moment Gary Jensen comes in, which could be within a week, and he takes away this lawsuit, for example, to settle it in another way, we are too late in terms of price. A lot of people said, Dusty, I want the price to get lower so I get more XRP, yada, yada, yada. Well, again, I'm not saying you should buy it, as again, I should never say something like that. But I am saying, if you are waiting for a better price, you might be very unlucky because all these people claiming the price are gonna go down, they might be right, but they might be very wrong. And so only waiting for the dip of the dip to purchase something, in my opinion, is never a smart thing. But again, who am I to talk about that, right? Because maybe you only want the best of the best. You'd rather have no crypto than buying a little bit more expensive. That's your own thing. I always just tell people, again, not financial advice, but just for, you know, I guess for fun. I don't know what else I should call it. I tell them, man, if you really aren't sure when to get crypto exactly, just purchase some of the cryptos you like at the current price, no matter what it is. Because if you look back at one point or another, it'll be up. And yeah, that might not be so in the next two months or so, but if you wait a little while and you look back, you will be up. Um, again, that's what I tell most people, to not really worry too much about it, because if they fall, I will fall too, and millions of others will too, who you know follow on this every single day and whatnot. But that's the same thing with stocks though. It's like, yeah, your stuff can fall, your house price can fall, all that stuff can always fall, but the chance is just small, right? We're the first 1%, and in my opinion, it's only gonna be getting bigger. Uh, then I saw a couple of really huge transactions. Some people asked what was happening right here. 200 million XRP was sent from an unknown wallet to Coinbase. Bitcoin man said, I wonder how long this scam coin will last. Pretty funny, right? Again, a lot of people are really, really against XRP. I still don't really understand why. Again, if they really lose the lawsuit, you might have a little bit more to say. But for right now, it's just really odd that people call it um, so negatively. Because I'm like, why don't you want the whole crypto space to succeed? Why are you so against one coin? That's a side note though, this amount of XRP almost always means somebody has either got a deal with Coinbase to be able to sell over their platform, which I don't think it is. I more so think that they're using Coinbase as a custodian where they are with a one-to-one -one connection just depositing their XRP that they have somewhere on a Coinbase wallet. So Coinbase is holding their money from them for a very, very small fee most likely. They, they just manage the money. And yeah, that's kind of what's happening right here. So they deposited it in Coinbase. Doesn't actually mean that somebody put it there just to sell. Doesn't mean anything more than that. It just means they most likely moved wallets with no further intent because we do not know about that. And then Ledger said, you asked, we answered. XRP cannot be swapped on Ledger Live with our partner Chain Jelly. Learn more. I didn't even know it. you couldn't swap it before because I never do that. But I guess it's pretty nice that you have the possibility now. On a side note, guys, make sure you press the like button if you want to help out the channel. And oh my days, right? This subscriber count is going up like crazy. You guys are insane. But if you are watching the daily crypto news and you think updates are nice, make sure you just subscribe because you can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content anymore. It is completely free, but it's just so you might get a notification if there's something really important happening in the crypto space. So yeah. Moving on, Unstoppable Domains, uh, by the way, you don't have to purchase anything here, it's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say, this website I've talked about for a little while, and I actually have quite a lot of domains on there too, but they keep freaking expanding, and every time I look back, I just see another thing happening, another thing happening, and if you guys have bought something too, you'll notice that they send you an email every time that something happens, and I noticed, if you change one setting in your Cloudflare, 
you can actually access the dot crypto websites through freaking normal browsers it is so crazy uh but once more i'm not even sure if there's a link down below or not um i'm gonna think there is but i'm not sure on that one don't quote me because <laughs> i don't know if i have a referral link for this anymore or not but you should check it out uh in my opinion it's a pretty cool website just for the sake that you might be able to speculate very properly on those domain names it might be very profitable and the fact that you can use them to send money around even with coinbase all right then uh by the way be careful with the whole coinbase ordeal if you're thinking about putting money into it be careful that you know you should know that your money might turn around if crypto turns around coinbase warns the entire crypto market could be destabilized if bitcoin's anonymous creator is ever revealed or sells their 30 billion dollar stake it's a good point at one point right it's a good point that yeah if crypto uh or if sorry guys if bitcoin founder actually comes out and is like hey you know it's me i'm gonna sell money now or he just starts selling it could definitely be a very big thing because why would the founder of this decentralized money start selling like what would he sell towards right i guess from a certain perspective it would not be bad if he's just buying things and using the currency but if he's really just selling it off like crazy for fiat uh, that would definitely not be too good and to a certain degree he has a million freaking Bitcoin. That's a lot of money that he has, right? Yeah, it's, it's um, definitely... Oh, let me turn that up. It's definitely quite interesting. It's definitely... Uh, but moving on, though, let's see what else we got. Traders remain bullish even as DeFi's TVL falls to $54.4 billion. The total value locked in DeFi has dropped 16% to $54 billion. But the fun fact is, I remember the last time we talked about this, and it was like, we were really happy that it got to $25 billion. Right now, we were at freaking $65 billion, and every time I was just amazed at how quickly this is growing. Now, I was asking you guys a little bit on Discord and in a couple of my private groups about DeFi and what we're looking at. And some guys, again, I'm not sure exactly how, but some guys all came back to me with freaking Bosagora. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but B-O-A. Just Bosagora, Bosagora, Bosa. And I tried to look it up. There's a couple things here. You have one uh, website where you have a huge return of 45 freaking percent. That's a pretty crazy thing for staking DeFi. I guess, and I try to look it up a little bit because, hey, a, a website like this, how do you find that? Well, I was just looking around through a little bit more about the Bosagora because apparently it is Korean. At least, you know, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> but I guess to a certain degree, it's freaking Korean. And yeah, I think it's pretty popular over there. I think it just launched, but I'm not too sure because the Bosagora token has been there for a little while. But the price is all of a sudden booming a little bit, right? If you kind of exclude the Bitcoin thing. It is going well all of a sudden. So I'm thinking that's because of some huge marketing efforts. But again, your guess is as good as mine. However, if this is all properly, the return on this coin, potentially, and again, I think the connections are true. I think Bosagora has officially made TFI themselves because TFI is the website that I just found somewhere in here. If you look it up, that's where the return is. That's pretty damn crazy because I'm not sure exactly how they can get this through. I guess I would have to read a little bit more into it. Bosagora is a public blockchain platform that needs to make the world... Okay, that's what every one of them says. Oh, here I guess we go. Staking BOA means freezing BOA. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not exactly sure how they can get such a huge return on that. Maybe this is just because it's the start. Maybe it starts February 22nd and it goes over in just a couple of days or something like that. That's what often happens with projects like this, where it's just a couple of days. In the end, I'm not saying you should go check it out or anything like that, but it is interesting to me, right? It is interesting how a lot of people are talking about this Bosagora thing and all of a sudden it's now popped off in terms of price. It's basically, how much did it do? I guess it's like, yeah, almost tripled in quite, nah, I guess almost two and a half times in a very short amount of time. Yeah, almost tripled in just a month or so. Maybe marketing efforts, maybe it's the freaking Koreans and it's something we don't know about on the Western internet. That could also be a thing, I'm not too sure. But um, just quickly saying that this stuff is pretty booming right now. A lot of people are talking about this, and I guess it's something over in Korea that we have not heard about. But it's, it's something interesting, in my opinion. Uh, moving on, let's see. Oh, this is still about T5. I had freaking a ton of articles open, huh? I was also doing a little bit of research, of course. I have to you know, check out a little bit if I start to talk about something. You can see how many freaking Korean articles. I'm really wondering what they're building over there, but it looks really interesting. If this stuff is real, the return is something I have definitely not ever seen before. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out for yourself and let me know down below or on Discord or whatever what you think about that. It is interesting though. But do you guys think we should put money in or no? Let me know down below in the comment section. I, of course, read every single comment. 
Then, Tesla CEO Elon Musk is reportedly under SEC investigation over Dogecoin tweets. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing now, but I'm you know crying inside because this would definitely not be good. In a different sense, though, he is verily. You know, very much so manipulating the Dogecoin price, even though from a certain perspective, it is definitely his own opinion. So he can do whatever he wants. Right. And now Dogecoin doesn't have a small market cap. It's a multi-billion dollar project. So it's not like you know, it's a really, um, you know, pump and dump thing, really putting a lot of money at risk or anything like that. People that invest into Doge or put it, but buy it, I mean, no, right. They know what they're buying into. So if, if, if Elon Musk is memeing it, that's basically the use coin of Doge anyway. So I'm not too sure about that. Um, however, there already was a very big complaint against Elon Musk before for his earlier tweets surrounding Tesla, which were jokes uh, and, and whatnot. Even though this might not be a joke, it still hurt or shocked the Tesla price at which he then could buy himself if he wanted to. As you can see here, the CEO presumably didn't want Tesla to have to pay for uh, his issue with the SEC. And while he didn't or he couldn't pay back. Oh, sorry, guys. While he could not directly pay for Tesla's part of the fine, he decided to buy $20 million worth of Tesla shares from them to kind of make up for it. And I always think it's interesting. This guy, Musk, once more, most likely has such a sophisticated mind of exactly where he wants to bring everything that he goes through such elaborate plans to get things done. But the SEC, to a certain degree, they really should find him because he's memeing around, which is bad for crypto. In a different sense, it is really, really good what he's doing because he has taken the edge off of this whole pump and dump because of an influencer, right? The more that Elon does this, the more that people know whatever influencer gets in, screw them. I mean, if, if Apple themselves buys, okay, really positive, but because of Elon, one of the biggest influencers in this world, yeah, you know, a lot of people with, with money look up to him. You might say, oh, but Dusty, uh, a, a, a girl like Kylie Jenner is way bigger of an influencer or a, an, an, a, a TikTok star. I don't know any TikTok stars, but whatever. They're way bigger influencers. Well, yeah, they might have more followers, but do they have more people looking up to them than the richest man on earth, right? Dependable. If you talk about, you know, nine-year-old uh, little girls, then no. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, then... Uh, then uh, they're definitely going to win. But if you're talking about, you know, real businessmen, I would say Elon Musk definitely takes the cake. And businessmen, of course, talking about any freaking body, anybody can be a business person. You guys get me. So from that perspective, yeah, if he's milking the freaking hell out of it, there's a good chance that uh, other influencers doing the same or, or going for it might not have as much of an influence, which might really mature crypto, which could be a good thing. Then Kathy Wood says Bitcoin has trillions in market cap potential. Well, who, we, we all knew that, so... Who cares about this opinion? Um, I don't care. The NFT boom has arrived with mainstream adoption. Please, guys, be careful with NFTs. I said the same thing about DeFi. And the thing is, though, there's so much going on in the collectible space right now that you're most likely uh, in a very good kind of, kind of spot to get scammed somewhere, right? I'm not saying you're going to get scammed. I'm just saying you should be careful for it because there is some people trying to do that. Um... And there's definitely a lot of this stuff which is just purely talked about in a fun manner, which doesn't mean that uh, it, it's something you really should get into. You guys see what I'm trying to say here? Where it's like, well, they're talking about it a ton and people are hyping it up and it all looks good. But you could buy it at a way bigger premium right now. In a different sense, you can also buy it right now and get a huge ROI because it's only getting bigger. I'm not quite sure. I'm just saying be careful because it's a little bit of a, of a hypey thing, right? It's the same thing as DeFi to a certain degree where, yeah, it's hyped up and a lot of projects are basic big scams. And NFTs nonetheless, but yeah, you might be able to get a lot of money out of it, though, in some way, shape, or form. It, it is a possibility. Just be careful with it a little bit. That's all I'm trying to say. And then how Chainlink's newly launched Oracle Network upgrade will disrupt the world of DeFi. Once more, Chainlink is actually breaking the freaking records right now. A couple of days ago, I said it wasn't too big. I changed my mind. This was a very big milestone for them, and I'm very happy that they were able to do it. So, yeah, I got to give them the props where it's due, right? Again, a couple of days ago, I didn't give it enough attention. Right now, I'm saying, yep, good job, Chainlink. That was it for today. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video. Uh, I think there's one more coming today. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, see you guys in that one.